Uh, today is an important milestone. Uh, the railways in Scotland come back into public ownership after a quarter of a century of privatisation. So it's a significant day, significant moment. I think the principle of public ownership, control and, and crucially accountability is an important one. But it's the start of a process, not the end of one. What matters now is the ability over a period to make the kind of improvements to our railways that the travelling public and those who work in our railways want to see. Heavy responsibility for government, obviously, but one, I think, that offers enormous opportunities. Well, initially our focus, as I think people would expect, as we transfer the ownership, is to ensure continuity and reliability of service. I think given the times we live in, uh, we also need to work our way through the change to travel patterns that have been caused by the pandemic as we start to come out of that. People's working patterns have changed quite fundamentally in some cases, and that has an impact on public transport, including the railways. So we need to think about what a modern fit-for-purpose railway means in the post-pandemic world that we are uh, now entering. But then over uh, the, the longer period, kicked off in the spring with the, the national conversation we've spoken about, it's about working with the public to think about the improvements people want to see to the reliability, the accessibility of our railways, a fair fares review to look at the crucial issue of affordability of our railways, uh, a lot of work uh, planned for the next few years to decarbonise our trains, part of our transition to net zero. Uh, these are not things that are going to happen magically overnight, but they are now uh, able to be driven by the new public ownership and accountability model. My experience as First Minister over all the years I've been First Minister is that when there are issues on our railway, people already look to government to try to resolve them. That can be difficult because government's not in the position of ownership and control. So now that we have that more direct relationship, I hope these things become more possible, not just in the sense of solving problems, but actually building a railway that is fit for the future. On the subject of accountability and public ownership, why should the public have faith in the Scottish Government um, with the ScotRail enterprise, given the, the ongoing fiasco with um, ferries? Well, it's, it did has to prove that the public ownership of railways is a good thing, and that's obviously what we'll focus on doing. On ferries, firstly, I'm not seeking to diminish the very real serious problems with the delays and cost overruns on the ferries. I do think, though, uh, there is uh, an oversimplicity in trying to read across to what we're doing today for two reasons. Firstly, your know, nationalisation of the Ferguson shipyard hasn't caused the problems with the ferries. And, uh, on the contrary, nationalisation has been part of trying to resolve uh, the problems with the ferries. And secondly, while the problems are real and serious, and I'm not seeking to underplay them, there are some you know, unique challenges there that can't simply be read across to the railways. But that said, we have a duty now that the railways are in public ownership to demonstrate to people that it brings advantages, not just in the principle of public ownership, but in the practical experience of that as well.